What's up, family? Welcome back to another tutorial with Meaningful Moments with Jazz. So I'm priming my face with the Revlon Photo Ready Primer in 001, and I am setting that with my Airspun and Translucent. I always set my primer because a sister has oily skin. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a concealer True Blend by CoverGirl to conceal my burn scar. I got burned when I was two years old and it left a keloid like scar, but it is flatter than most keloiding scars. I had Dr. Robert Ruberg from Columbus, Ohio. He was amazing. So now I'm going to use the Maybelline uh, Brow Pencil, the Ultra Thin Slim Brow, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Really what I do, I don't do anything special. I just follow the shape of my brow, and I try to use hair-like strokes to fill those in to give it a more natural looking look. But I mean, come on, y'all. They're filled in brows. Of course, it doesn't look natural. All right, <laughs> so well, with that, so yeah, I'm just filling that in and I and I tend to take my time now. Something about this brush is, uh, I mean, this pencil, I feel like you have to press in a little harder to get the uh, color to come up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just really following the shape of my eyebrow and filling that in and curving off uh, the top. There are places of, in my brow that I do extend just a little bit because, you know, you want to get a certain look going on there. But um, yeah, that's what I use. I love it. It's about $7 at Walmart. It is amazing. Like it can rival any, any high end expensive brow product or pencil it is amazing and I love how thin it is so now I'm using the revolution makeup revolution conceal and define in c12 to <clears throat> outline my brow and also use it as a eyeshadow primer and I'm going to put that all over my lid I am using a bh cosmetic uh, foundation brush to put that on that's actually the first time I use that brush to do that so now I'm using my Real Techniques uh, crease defining brush, but I use it to just set my eyes because it's so dense um, of bristles that it just, it balances out all of that. So now I am using the Holy Grail Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. It came in a boxy charm and I am starting with a, the lighter color in uh, right under my brow, on my brow bone. That color is called, let me see. <clears throat> it's like a beige color, really skin color, blends right on in. Let me see what that color is called. You guys, sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. That is called hashtag, honey, hashtag. I think I did a, a combination between hashtag and transition. So now I went in with Wine and Dine. It is a beautiful, full, uh, burgundy red color. As you see that, it's not bright red. It's like a, a maroon burgundy color. And I'm using a small detail brush, flat brush, to pat that on my lid, all over my lid. Yes, honey. Yes, girl. That's all right with me. I'm loving that color payoff. So this is actually the red version of a brown version of this that I did the other day. But my video, I tried to record it on Marco Polo. It's a no-go. The video quality was garbage. So now I went in with brownie points into my crease to blend out that um, wine and dine red color to transition. So this is like a, you know, a brownish red color look. Um, very simple, but requires a lot of blending. And I'm going back in to make sure that that color is going to pop. Yep, clearly I like it. So I did the same off screen. So I had an idea because I wanted to do a little more with this. I didn't just want to leave it matte. I wanted to put a, a shimmer shade on top of it. So I started with the on fleek, but it just really didn't do the color payoff that I wanted to do. I wasn't really satisfied with that. So... I decided I'm going to go with the brown and red uh, glitters. So I'm going to use the 
the glitter glue from Hard Candy and I'm using a flat synthetic brush to put that on my lid and I'm following really the color that I've already placed down that uh, wine and dine red. I'm just following putting that on the whole thing. So <clears throat> in my mind, I thought that if I patted this on first, this brown glitter, and then patted some red on, it would give the look that I wanted. But you will shortly see uh, that is a no-go. So I tap it in, and look, y'all, that looks a mess. <laughs> that looks a hot, funky, fiery, moving mess. And I keep putting it on like that. It's going to make that better. Yeah, not so. So then I have the brilliant idea to mix the two colors together in another container to get the look that I was going for. So that's exactly what I did. I mixed it in a cap of one of my uh, <laughs> primers. I mixed those two together in there. I reapply the glitter glue to go on top of what I already have. And... I am going to then take that same synthetic flat brush and I'm going to pat that glitter on. I'm just going to pat, 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 pat that on. And y'all be careful to kind of shake off the excess glitter because you do not want glitter, especially that size, to get into your eyeball. It will be the absolute worst when I say the absolute worst. But look, look, y'all, it came out really good. So I'm going to go in again because I wanted to get that the corner the outside corner of my lid I want to make sure that that has some dimension to it so I'm going to go back in in that same mixture of glitter and I'm going to tap that on her just to bring some more dimension and really fullness I guess to the look so you just pat that on there and you might want to give like a, a few seconds for the glitter glue like listen because you still want it to be wet and sticky but you don't want it to be so wet to the point that when you Put the glitter in your brush down that the glitter is sticking more to your brush than to your eyelid. So you give it a few seconds to um, kind of dry down. So I went back in and I'm mixing uh, Wine and Dine and Teddy Bear, which is a darker brown color and brownie points. And I'm putting that back into my crease because I want to give it some more depth. I want it to, um, you know, kind of look a little, you know, deeper. I want a deeper look to it. So that's what I did on both eyes. And then I'm using a e.l.f. Um, shadow brush to try to blend that out. And I just want to blend, 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 blend. Blend it out. That's what I am doing. But I, I kind of went up a little too high. So I went back in with the hashtag to blend that out to kind of make that a little more subtle. So I'm just blending that out. And that is the key. If you feel like... You have a color that is way too bold and you're like, ooh, that is not the look I was going for. You can always go back in with a lighter color to reduce the, the boldness of that and the lines of demarcation. Like that's what you do. You want to do it with a an actual blending brush. And you tend to, if you hold it at the end, it gives it more, uh, gives you more control over the brush and it gives you a more of a airbrush look to it. I'm pretty pleased with that blending. So listen, I have a lot of fallout on my face. I have the the red color from the wine and dine, and then I have the glitter that fell on my face. So I had seen something somewhere where a makeup artist said if you put some powder on a brush and you like flick it off your face, it should take it with it. But I just end up having red on my face. So now I'm going in with my one of my favorite um, drugstore foundations. It is Revlon's Color Stay in Caramel. Um, it's the same color that Sierra wore in the, in the ad. Anyway, that was a random, random fact. So I'm using that same uh, BH Cosmetic brush to just put it on my face and put it in the locations that I want to try to get the coverage that I am needing. Now, this is probably four or five pumps of makeup on these brushes. Um, so it can build up to give you the coverage that you want. I am a girl who likes full coverage and to place the makeup where I want it to be versus doing a lot of dots. Now, what I'm going to do now, normally I outline my brows with like a lighter concealer, but I have learned that this brush, when I'm applying it, 
that it outlines it pretty well. So I just use the foundation to outline my, my brow to make sure I don't ruin them. And you want to take your time on this, this part because it would suck that you put all that work into doing some good brows and then with a slip of a hand, honey, you done messed up your brows. So make sure you take your time on that. I don't know why the color in my camera was changing. Um, it has never done that before. It might be because of all the reds that I have on my face. And to be honest, the foundation does have an orange undertone to it, which, you know, unfortunately, most of them do for us. So, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. My nose is running. <laughs> don't judge me. My head is bent over the whole dang on time. So yeah, I'm just blending, blending, blending. And that is a Morphe makeup brush. I got it in a set. I got it at Ulta Beauty a long time ago. So now I'm using the Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline and 144 Caramel. And I'm just putting that under my eye. Now a trick to make sure you don't get them ugly creases under your eye, when you are applying your concealer under eye, Make sure you look up while you're doing that as you're applying that makeup so it can kind of press it in um, to a flatter surface and not the crease surface. So now I'm using my go-to handy dandy Real Techniques brush to go ahead and blend that in. And I do a lot of patting and blending, patting, pressing, and blending to get that to go in because I don't want the product to move from the place that I put it. I just want it to be, to go further into that spot. So I'll just pat, 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 pat and blend, pat and blend, pat and blend. That's what I do. And then I'll wipe it off in between so you're not like, you know, carrying whatever was in that one place to another place. And then, yeah, you, again, you want to look up. Look up when you are blending stuff in under your eye. When you're blending concealer or makeup or whatever it is that you are blending under your eye, make sure that you always look up to try to get rid of or minimize the creasing under your eyes as much as possible. And you want to gently press it in. So I think I feel like I need like super full coverage under my eyes because I have dark circles naturally under my eyes. I think it's hereditary. My grand my paternal grandmother had them as well so then i'm also going in over with the true blend concealer i believe it's also in a caramel color and i'm going back in and just patting that in just lightly patting that in pat 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 because i like for the, my under eyes to be more of a yellow golden color i like them to be highlighted i feel like it brings great dimension to my face so that's what I do. And I never contour my nose because, you know, I like my nose. It's, it's my daddy's nose. So I like that. <laughs> Mine might be slightly slimmer than his nose. But nonetheless, I'm now going in with the Sasha Buttercup and Buttercup under my eye. I don't bake. I just press that in there and then blend, you know, end up blending it out. Um, so, yeah, I put take a little. I like tap it into the container normally in the lid today I just did it into the container and I you know I tap it multiple times to get you know what I need on there and so also kind of more finely mill that up it's super milled already but you know the extra tapping just helps to get the amount that you want on there so then yep I just go and I put the Sasha Buttercup really everywhere I put it especially on the places that I highlight but also everywhere else on my face so then i'm going in with a uh, another blending brush to just blend all of that out because you don't want to just have huge spots on that you want to blend it out so we're blending it out so i had already started my contour off camera my bad um using those brushes they came in a boxy charm i believe i don't know what the name of them are i might just put it down in there so i'm contouring i you know do it right below my cheekbones and I use the ruby kisses in the color and the shade ebony and I do my jawline and under my chin and around my forehead just to give it a more you know balanced look I don't want to be all yellow I want some dimension to my face and that line you know was the contour is a little harsh I wanted to blend it out so I'm using another um densely you know powder brush to blend it out and you do really have to blend you see right there I kind of took it too far down so I went back in with my uh, foundation brush just to kind of fix that so now I'm going to use a little of the red the browns the 
a hashtag like beige colors to do my blush and I actually find every time that I do um, a makeup look and I want to use uh, I, I use the colors that are in a palette just to make it a more cohesive look with the eyeshadow and the blush so that red was a little too bright for me honey I want color but I do not want to look like a doll baby so I'm gonna go back in with a little foundation I just take a little foundation off of like the pump on my foundation brush and I blend that out just to uh, make that less intense I want some color but I do not want a boatload of color I think it's looking good so now I'm gonna go in with a combination of the um, that browning points and a teddy bear and I'm putting that under my eye on the lower lash line oh you see I like that honey that came together good girl listen cousins it is really about enjoying what you do this was you know my first look of the day I'm probably gonna go in and do something else different today if I be honest but it helps me to relax it is such a regulating experience for me so I am using my favorite go-to mascara which is thrive by thrive causation uh cosmetics it is amazing i love it i love it i much prefer this over lashes i can't do lashes no no way <laughs> so i did that to both eyes and my lower lash line so now i'm going in with it's a color called crystal it's a it's a shimmer it's really a light shimmer to go on my brown bone to just you know give it some more dimension and make it pop and it's just very little and I'm gonna blend that out blend 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 that out oh I like that she's cute girl yes honey so then I'm gonna go in my inner corner and I'm kind of mixing um three colors is bestie and thanks a lot and a little of transition and I'm going in with the pencil brush in my inner corner um, I didn't want to do a shimmer, but I did want to have a slightly lighter look to give it a little gradient look in my, you know, in my eye. I really like the final look. So I sprayed with the Tarte Stay Spray um, to set my face. And now I'm using Lemonade by DC um, Cosmetics. Of course, that is like my go to look. And this hair, it is from, I got it from samsbeauty.com. Um, I will put the style of the hair in the description, but I really love it. I think this look came out great. 